Welcome to our lecture online. Before we get to the more complicated stuff, let's get more familiarity with what it means to evaluate a function. In this case, we're going to evaluate a quadratic function. And notice we're going to evaluate it for four different values for x. That way, again, you get more familiarity with it, you get more comfort with it, and that's what it's all about. This should become very secondhand to you. In other words, you should be able to just do this at any moment in time, not even think about it. So, what do we do again? We're going to replace every x by the value we're supposed to replace it with. So in this case, we're going to take f when x is equal to 2. Notice I like this notation because it does give me the connection that it's the variable x that we're replacing with the number 2, and that is equal to. So we go here to our definition of the function. We see an x squared there, so instead of x, we write the number 2. That's why I like to keep it like this. So that's 2 squared plus 4 times Instead of x, we write the number 2 and then minus 4. So that's how we evaluate the function for the value x equals 2. Now we can finish it up. So this is equal to 4 plus 8 minus 4, which is equal to 8. So that's the evaluation of the function when x equals 2, y is equal to 8, or the function equals 8. Now let's do it for negative 2. f when x equals negative 2, that's equal to negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 4. Notice I like to put parentheses around it so you can see that I've replaced the x by minus 2 and the x by minus 2. Now we just have to evaluate it. This is equal to a positive 4 minus 8 minus 4, which is minus 8. So that's the function when x equals negative 2. How about x equals 0? f when x equals 0, we replace every x by 0, so we get 0 squared plus 4 times 0, pl uh, not plus, but minus 4. Minus 4, 0 plus 0 minus 4 equals minus 4. So that's the function when x equals 0. And finally, the function when x equals a plus h. Now, that used to scare me. I used to look at it and go, what in the world is that, a plus h? But once they told me, oh, all you have to do is simply take every x and replace it by a plus h. I go, okay, I can do that. This is how we do that. f when x equals a plus h is equal to. So all I'm going to do is first replace every x by a plus h. So this is a plus h squared plus 4 times a plus h minus 4. And then I just multiply everything out, collect common terms, and see what happens. So this is equal to the first term squared, plus twice the product, plus the last term squared, plus 4 times a, plus 4 times h, minus 4. Now I look at that and I go, well, there aren't any common terms, so I can't simplify anything. So this is simply the function evaluated when x equals a plus h. And that is how that's done. This whole thing is the value of the function when x equals a plus h. So all you have to do is just replace every x by a plus h, a plus h, multiply everything out, and there it is. That's how you evaluate a function. No matter what the number is, no matter what the expression is that you replace x with, you simply plug it in and work it out. And that is how it's done. Or quadratic means that it's x to the second power. A quad? Mm -hmm. Quad is four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but quadratic equation, where does that term come from? I don't know. It just... I guess we'll have to Google that one. Yeah, why is it called? I just figured it's called quadratic function because you can use a quadratic equation. Correct, but the term quadratic... Is it binomial? I think it means second power. We have to look that up. Quad is four. I know quad is four. I, I understand that, but quadratic, that term, we have to look it up. I'm not so sure that's related to four. Okay, let's look it up. 